what is going on people oh man i can only hear myself so i need to take this up what is going on people better okay so welcome to my channel and i want to welcome you to my how to use background sales agent and today we are going to be working on this annual report cover i'm going to teach you guys from start to finish so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial Okay, so we are going to create a new document now. So I'm going to click on file and I'll select um, new. And for this project, I'm going to just give this annual. On the document um, type, I choose international paper size. And for the size of my paper, I'm using A4. And um, the resolution is going to be 300. And every other setting is going to remain the way they are. All right. But now, the reason why I use 300 here is because we are going to be printing this okay so i'm using 300 for my resolution and i'm going to click ok so i realized that um most of the designers always make this mistake of when we have when we're given a picture for a project like this we always end up using the picture the way it is please guys stop working that way okay we are working on a company report like this you need to take out things that may cause distraction okay now for example if you look at this picture now i have the i have this cloud here and i have the cloud on this side of the uh, picture also so what you need to do is make sure you take out the building from the background and then create your own custom background for it so let's i'll show you how i normally do it zoom in now with control space bar and i'll select my pen tool all right and i'll start from here like so okay so i've cut the building and um i realized that um i'm unable to crop the trees now all right now if you look at this side i still have the same issue here so what i'm going to do now is i am going to hit the control control enter on my keyboard or uh, command enter for mac users so i'm just going to go to select all right and i'm going to select select mask so the reason why i'm here is because of the trees all right i want to be able to add the tree to uh, the part of my selection so i'm just going to come here and i'll zoom in with control space bar and i'll select this uh defined edges to brush to here and i'm just going to brush like so so i'm trying i'm adding the trees Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to check the the, the sentiment um, colors option. Now, what that will do is uh, it's going to help take out the you know the faded part of the trees. All right. So if I hit, if I uncheck this now, you see I have these faded edges on the selected uh, area uh, of the tree. And if I click on this now, you see that it will adjust the faded part. So I'm going to click OK now. So we have the building cut up from the uh, background now and um, the next thing we are going to do is to take this to our project so i'm just going to drag this and drop inside the project that i'm working on okay and i'm going to scale this down by right clicking on the layer of the building and i'm going to say convert to smart objects so then i'm going to hit the ctrl t on my keyboard i need to zoom out so i can see the adjustment handle so i'm going to hold down alt and drag down now i'm using photoshop cc 2020 this is the company's color so i'm just going to use this to um, create my background all right click on the eyedropper tool and click on my first color right here and then we'll create a new layer and i'll call this vg1 all right and i'll hit alt backspace so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new um layer again by holding on alt and click and i'm going to just call this bg2 all right now some people always prefer to use just one color for a um, project like this but for me i always like to go um, further 
so i'm just going to pick this shade of color right around here and i'm going to replace select my brush tool with the um shortcut which is b then i'm going to scale this brush size will be big like so and i'm going to just you know brush and you know that's the how i plan to do that so i'm just going to increase the size of my brush and i'll zoom out and i'm just going to brush like so all right so i'm going to apply my brush to about this point and i'm going to increase the size of my brush again and i'm just going to apply it a little bit more just not too much like this okay then um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer again all right now i'm trying to make it look like uh, there's a light effect coming from this side of the frame so i'm just going to call this vg3 and i'll say okay now but for this time what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to um, brighten the last color i just picked from this shade of color here a little bit so i'm just going to put that up that like, just a little bit like so and i'll hit okay so this time i'm going to reduce size of my brush and i'm just going to apply that to somewhere around here all right now there's one other thing i'm going to teach you guys i always do before i start adding my text i always like to create um, my grid so i'm just going to zoom in to about this point and i'm just going to drag to create a rectangle shape like so so i'm holding on shift to draw a perfect rectangle shape so i'm just going to drop that like so and i'm going to use my move tool to i need to drag it up drag this up move the shape to this point and i'm just going to drag my grid my ruler like so so if you can't find your ruler here just hit ctrl r on your keyboard or view. so this is ruler here okay then i'm going to drag this from top to bottom like so and i'll zoom out next i'll move this to about this point and i'll drag all right and i'll drag this down and drag this this way all right now so now that i'm done with this i don't need it anymore i'm just going to delete it all right then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a rectangle shape again and this time i'm just going to draw the rectangle shape somewhere around here because i want to be able to put my information on this side of the project all right now as you can see it's covering the building so what we need to do is to shift select the three layers which is the building and the um background or right, the light effect so i'm just going to push that up to about um, this point all right and the next thing i'm going to do is to add my text so i've select, selected this text too and i'm just going to come here and call this You know what i think i need to move this up again a little bit all right and um, for the shape i'm just going to drag this and drop like so now hit enter all right and i'm going to just scale this Go back here again, pick the color from the 2020 and I'll hit OK. Alright, so I'm going to change it to capital letter by keep clicking on this cap um, button here and I'll add space. because i noticed that um i have empty space here all right i'm just going to add um what i drew on um, illustrator here which is this i'm just going to copy and i'll go to photoshop and i'm going to paste it so i have this uh, window asking me which option to go for so i'm just going to click on smart object and i'll hit ok and i'll reduce the opacity just like so rotate it by hitting ctrl t on my keyboard right click and say flip horizontal and i'm just going to position this here i can even make a copy of this and just you know position this one somewhere here and i can reduce the opacity just like so so for the logo now this project does not belong to anybody all right so i'm just going to draw a shape i need to make this visible so i can pick the color so i'm just going to select the um shape that i just drew so i'm going to come 
to my shape tool and I'll click on the field option here and I'll click on the um, color box here and I'll pick the shade of color right here and I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to hide this now, make a copy of this and I'm just going to drag this down to somewhere around here. So I'm using the up and down arrow key on my keyboard to move the object up and down. Should be somewhere around here and i'm going to just push this down so i'm just trying to follow the same line with the logo so i can push this here and i'll hit enter and as you can see we have the cover ready so i'm going to hit ctrl h all right to hide the grids okay i just think i need to um reduce the opacity of these two guys i'm just going to put that down just to not to create distraction all right so i'm going to give you change some little tips to you guys okay because this is where i'm going to stop on the uh, designing of the cover now when you are designing a um, brochure cover for a company try as much as possible to take a picture of the company and use it as uh, an option for them because most companies always prefer to see their building on the cover of their brochure all right, and um, I'm going to be doing more of designing of um, annual report cover or brochure cover for you guys. And uh, if you are not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. And if there's anything you learn with the help of this tutorial, please remember to share it with me on Instagram. All right, so I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace.